insufficient permission to access file, VMware error. While adding a physical disk to your virtual machine, if you receive an error stating, insufficient permission to access a file, it may be because of VMware privileges to access the physical disk. To resolve this issue, it is better to run VMware as an administrator. Close the current VMware window, and run it again as administrator. Now, do all the processes again as required. This time while adding the physical disk, you should not get an insufficient permission error. If you need to give access permissions to a non-administrator user, then, open the virtual machine location. You can right-click on the name of the virtual machine, and click on the Open VM directory. Your location will open. For our example, this virtual machine folder, in F drive, is the parent directory for all my VMware virtual machines. We will grant necessary permissions to this parent directory. We will go one level above it. Then we will right-click on our folder, and click on Properties. This window will open. Go to the Security tab. Here we can see group or usernames and their access permissions. To change these permissions, click on Edit. Then in this window, select the user you want to grant access permissions to. Then here, under Permissions for Users, checkmark the kind of permissions you want to grant to that user. In our case, we are granting full permission to our users. You can also add a user from your system, if it's not listed, by clicking the Add button. Since my machine is a standalone machine, all my users belong to this location. Then here type the username you want to add and click on Check Names. It will find the user and become underlined. Otherwise, it will open a Name Not Found window. Once the name is checked, click OK. The user will be added here, and then, by selecting it, you can provide appropriate permissions. Once permissions are checkmarked, click OK. This will grant necessary permissions to that user. Note that you need to be logged in as an administrator to grant permissions to other users. And the permissions are to be granted to the parent directory. Now, the user shouldn't get an insufficient permission error. If you found this video informative then please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.